going on guys today is 103 of my 120 days on this container shit uh, I hope you've been following along to this whole log entry series and you'll know that I'm gonna be here more than 120 days uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to continue making these videos every single day past the 120 because they're getting harder to make I'm just you know but today I'm gonna go over a comment that was made by mr. Bart Rogers of the SIU apprenticeship program Bart Rogers is he is kind of like I think the head or lead guy in the administration for the program so he follows along with these videos, which is pretty cool. Probably mostly to just keep track of me and to keep track that I'm not talking bad about the SIU apprenticeship program, more than likely. Uh, he started following these videos as soon as the, the union had contacted me because another outside source has contacted me, wanted to contact me, so they reached out to the union hall to get a hold of me. And after that conversation, I seen Bart Rogers had started following me on this channel. So obviously, it's just the union trying to keep track, making sure I don't talk bad about them. But this comment here, it's a, a good informative comment for potential military vets. So the comment was made on my retired Navy to Merchant Mariner video that I made with Tom. Uh, it's pretty good pretty good little interview that I had with him and if you guys go check that out and if you guys are military vets and have any types of questions I'm sure if you leave it on that video I can get Tom to respond to you because he would be better to respond to you than I would but me and Tom are still in good contact I know he still follows along with these videos thanks Tom I appreciate you and if you see this just know that I will be sending questions your way on that video. But uh, back to Bart Rogers. He made a comment on the video. He said, great video just to clear up some items. One, to use Navy Sea Time, you have to have held a rating that the US Coast Guard accepts. US Coast Guard will give you credit for 60% of that time. There's no Regency requirement to use that time. All engineers have to start with BAPO and Euler classes. So, to use Navy Sea Time, you have to have held that rating, held a rating that the US Coast Guard accepts. So, again, in that, uh, I know I've spoken about this in another video, held a rating that the US Coast Guard accepts. So, just because you're in the Navy doesn't mean you have sea time. Okay, if you aren't on a ship, then it's not sea time. You have to be on a ship for so many days for the Coast Guard to accept that, okay, that's sea time. Just because you've had 20 years in the Navy, it doesn't mean you have 20 years of sea service. Sea time is days on a ship. That is what the Coast Guard recognizes. And it also, the Coast Guard's not gonna recognize it if you sailed, you you know, you have, say, 365 days of sea time, but you got out of the Navy, you're out of the military, and it's been 10 years since then. They might not recognize that. It has to be within a certain amount of time. Okay, so the next part, number two of Mr. Bart Rogers' comment. There is no cost for training and room and board while attending the vet program at Piney Point. So... That applies to the program in general, not just the vet program, but the SIU apprenticeship program is no cost. Besides getting your credentials and getting to the school, as soon as you're there, you don't have, you don't have to pay for food, you don't have to pay to sleep, you don't have to pay for room and board, you don't have to pay for any of that. So it's not there's no cost for training and room and board while attending the vet program at Piney Point. There's no cost for any of the program at all. 
that's that that relates to yesterday's video when um, yesterday's video I talked about the, a comment somebody made saying oh I didn't know when you get out of the program you're cleared of all debt it's not that you're cleared of all debt <laughs> it's that you come out without needing to pay the apprenticeship program or the school for any of the training or any of the food it doesn't cost you anything to go to Piney Point for the vet program or the SIU apprenticeship program there is no cost there's no debt to the programs at Piney Point that's what I mean by coming out debt free and I think I hope I made that clear in yesterday's video okay uh, number three, vets make great sailors. Yes, Bart Rogers, vets do make great sailors. And it is a very good point because military vets have already gotten used to the routine of not necessarily being on a ship, but the routine of how a ship operates. Um, daily routine of doing the same thing, same monotonous thing every single day, uh, being confined at times and having to live and work with the exact same people every single day, doing the same routine every single day. So vets make great sailors because they're already used to it. They're already used to the similar routine of how ships work. Um, last part, number four of Mr. Bart Rogers' comment. Many electrician jobs pay more than third jobs, especially if you know what you are doing. So, this is also, uh, it, it'll, it'll matter on the contracts. Just like, I believe in Tom's interview, that I did with him in that video, um, he stated that on this ship, he gets paid more, he was paid more monthly on this ship as an oiler than he was as a QMED on another ship. Now, a QMED is a qualified member of the engine department. It's a higher rating than an oiler, just a plain oiler. It's technically a higher rating, but Tom said he's paid more as an oiler here than he was on a QMED ship. So many electrician jobs pay more than third jobs, especially if you know what you're doing. It all matters on the contract. Typically, yeah, I do believe they'll make more in a lot of contracts. But uh, a part to mention is it's also the same on for the deck side. Now I've heard bosuns making more than third mates. So it really just matters on the contracts. Uh, and the last part, great job, Tom. I also appreciate you, Tom. Thanks for the interview. Uh, and again, I will be sending any questions you guys have for military vets, either comment it on this video or comment it on the video with Tom, the retired Navy to Merchant Mariner, and I will be sending everybody to you, Tom. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Bart Rogers, for the comment, for the informative comment that you left. I appreciate it. And uh, that's what I got for tonight, guys. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button comment question share and i will see you in tomorrow's video